I got a question for you. If you want to add an asset, do we plus it or do we debit it? The next question is, if we were to debit an asset to add that amount, why is it do we credit a liability to add it? Now, I know it's very confusing, but in this small tutorial, I'm going to try to solve all of these questions. Before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Adnan Hasbi and welcome to Funny Finance Guy, a channel which is dedicated to make finance and accounting much more easier, reducing the jargon and increasing the common sense. Let's start by looking at the accounting equation where assets equals to liabilities plus owner equity. What are assets? Assets are things that provide future economic benefits. Liabilities is what the company owes or the obligation of the company, while owner equity is the owner's interest within the company. And one of the ways we can think about this is asset is what the company has that will give them future economic benefit. While the other side of the equation, liability and owner equity, are who funded these assets for the company. We have to remember, a newly formed company does not have any asset, liabilities and also owner equity. For the company to start, they will need to buy some assets and these assets will be funded via a bank or the owners themselves. And the next question is, does a company really need assets for their operations? If you are a trading company, you definitely need assets where you buy things for a cheap price and sell it for a more expensive price. And for a service company, you need to buy tables, chairs and laptop for your staff member to use this equipment to render services to clients. To give us a deeper understanding, I have put four transactions where we can look at and we can apply it to the accounting equation. Assuming if we invested $100, the next assumption we should make is that we are a 100% owner of that particular company. What will happen? The assets will increase by 100, while the amount owed by the company to us would also increase by $100. So the cash would increase and since we are the funders, the company owes us $100. Remember that we and the company are two separate entities. Next thing is the company borrowed $200. So the assets were increased by $200 in the form of cash, while the bank or the amount owing to the bank will also increase by $200. Assuming there is a cash sale, so what will happen is the cash will increase by $10, while the owner equity will also increase by $10. So the question I have for you is why do we increase our owner equity by $10 in the form of revenue? And the answer for this is that since we own 100% of the company, whatever the company makes, they eventually owe that amount to us. Finally, if the company has to pay rental in the form of cash, the cash will reduce or the assets will reduce by $5 while the equity will also reduce by $5. So essentially, when the company has to make an expense, they owe us less. So the equities will reduce by $5 in the form of expenses while the assets will reduce by $5 in the form of cash. So right now, let us add in debits and also credit in the whole equation. Let's mix things up and make it a bit more interesting. So to add an asset, we need to debit that amount. While to add a liability or owner equity, we credit it. And how I like to think about this is that in order to add an asset, we debit it. And like any algebra formula, if you go the other side of the equal sign, it will mean the opposite. So if on the left-hand side, to add, we debit. On the right-hand side, to add, we credit. So let us recap by giving you the examples in debits and credit. So if the owner invests $100, they debit asset and also credit 
own equity, both amounts would increase. If the company were to borrow $200, the assets will increase, which is a debit, and the liability will also increase, which is a credit. Next is a cash sale. The cash amount or the assets will increase by $10 while we will credit the revenue. So to increase our equity, we credit that amount in the form of a revenue. And finally, if there is a payment in rental, we will see $5 reduction in cash, a debit in equities as a form of expense by $5. I hope this little explanation helps you with the debits and the credits and the plus and the minuses. If it does, please put a comment in the comment section. If it doesn't, please ask me a question also in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Remember, please subscribe to my channel to get more accounting lessons in the weeks to come. Thank you.